I mean, if you want to what we have here is the wiring harness. It's pretty much completely rebuilt at this point, right, Mel? No? Yeah. And we've been through it, and tell me what we replaced, I guess. We've done some, I know we've done some whole, replaced whole sections of wire, right? Yeah, all the sections in between here have been replaced. It was all butt connected here and here, and elect home electrical wire instead of mechanical automotive wire. Yeah. So you put the right wires in, right colors, soldered it, shrink tube it, taped it, check the connection. Did you replace the fuse panel on this thing? I cleaned the fuse panel all up in the sandblast and it's done because it's all nasty. You put all new fuses in. So it's been cleaned up, sandblasted, all new fuses. And the ends are all the original ends and just yeah, been cleaned up? For the most part, yeah. For the most part, you can see new wire that you put in there. That right there goes to the uh, amp meter, which is a fairly high current area on the dash and new wires in there, all heat shrunk, and that's what we typically do. And we put a piece of fusible link on the end. Ah, the that's the key thing. Feed, so that's missing. That was missing. That, that's, that's really key to know because fusible link is really important. If there's a, a deficit in the harness where all of a sudden it grounds out or too much current's going through, whatever the case may be, this link right here will melt. And a lot of guys don't know about this stuff and they just put in they just, you know, hardwire it. This fusible link is really key, so it's a really good safety device. So, anyway, so we're ready to put it back into the truck and uh, see how she goes. So it's been rebuilt. N nice job. That's the ignition right there. It's hard to see, but that's the ignition right there.